Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It's Thursday. Usually Thursday I go to my daughter's house and have some Grammy time, but we just couldn't schedule it today. So I ran errands. I went to the bank, I went shopping, I went to Office Depot, I went to the post office. I dropped paper off for recycling, so I got a lot done. But I'm not used to running errands on Thursday. I guess now that I'm retired, you know, any, any day is good for errands. So, dinner is in the oven. I've got half an hour to make a video before I have to go take the stuffed trout out of the oven. It's rainbow trout with a mushroom and vegetable and bread stuffing over it. Gluten-free bread. It's one of our favorites. And I, when I saw that the store had rainbow trout today, I was like, oh yeah. That's what we're having for dinner. And I made coleslaw, so once the trout is done, we can eat. So, I have a few finished items to show you. One was one of my April goals to make another Ankylosaurus. Boop. I'm calling this guy Ace because I made it from the Artist's Choice yarn which is what I call the bags that my husband made up for me last year. I think is, this is the last bag that he made. I think he made three bags for me. And I've already used up the first two, but this... Okay. And I've got a turtle that's almost done from that bag. So I am crossing that one off my April to-do list. I've made two projects from the bag. Good enough. So I think I'm down to two items. Two items plus Etsy listings for my goals for April. And did I say March before? Hmm. Yeah, I know what month it is. Okay, so that was my first finished project this week. The other one, I have to put a picture up here because I don't feel like trying to find the ocean tote and then rooting through that to find the stingrays and all that. I made two stingrays. One of them, the little purple one, is from the leftover yarn from the Timo kit that I got. And then the big one is from a blanket type yarn from my last Timo order. And while I had that yarn out, I wanted to finish it off. Oh dear, his poor colors are all wiped out. So I made a very colorful mushroom. I think I may have to take a picture of the mushroom and put the picture up here to show you her true colors. She's cute. Okay. I did have a mushroom like that before, but it wasn't as cute and it sold fairly quickly. So hoping that that one sells too. Then I got into the mode of replacing small items that sold at last week's craft show. I had a run on coffee cups. So I made a gray angry coffee, a pink happy coffee, although with those eyebrows it looks like it's surprised to be happy. And then a happy little yellow and gray cup, a happy big yellow and gray cup. That one's bigger. And since there was a run on pickles last week. I made two more emotional support pickles. I do need to make some more signs. So I'll have the signs to put on them. So that's all that I've gotten done so far this week. I am making good progress on PJ Pale's Charlie Horse. I have all of the body done and I have the head done. So I need to make, I have one arm about halfway down. So I need to make the arms and the ears and the horn. And then you can't see on the cover, but he's pretending to be a unicorn. Like it's, it's, a, it's a horse in unicorn pajamas. So on the back, there's all sorts of, like a unicorn, a rainbow unicorn mane. 
and a tail and there's a little flap in the back with buttons like old-fashioned pajamas used to have so I'm getting there I still have a lot of parts to do and a lot of sewing but I am making progress and I think I'm gonna finish it in April so there is a good chance oh I still need to do oops sorry I bumped the I bumped the um, this thing cord for my microphone and that made the phone wiggle so we did not have an earthquake I just made a mistake I also need to design my April monster of the month and I got it in my head okay I know I'm going to use this yarn and I know how I'm going to start it and how I'm going to do it and you know okay I, I got it I know what I'm doing just finding the time to do it between all the other projects and the craft shows because I think it was Tuesday afternoon I saw a post in a local it's like Western New York craft shows saying hey last minute notice but we have some openings at this show for this Saturday I checked and it's it's a school that's like it's 20 miles half an hour drive $25 for a table well, you bring your own table $25 and a basket donation for a 10-foot space where you can put your table and your chair they'll give you a chair and then you got a little bit of extra space for like another rack or something okay that's I'm willing to give it a try I got this weekend open so by the time okay then I decided I'm going to email the, the organizers and say how many crochet people do you have there because if every every other table is somebody selling crocheted stuffed animals I know I'm not going to do all that well and she said oh we don't have anybody else with that kind of product coming okay so I filled out the form and I emailed it back to her and I told her it's too late now because that was like Wednesday afternoon I said if I put a check in the mail now it's probably not going to get to you before the show so can I just bring a check and pay at the show no problem so I have a craft show this weekend and it's not all that much organizing to do I have everything sorted out so it's just like, okay let's let's take all these big blue bags that have my stuff in them and set up my grid and fill them up with stuff from the bags I'm, I'm pretty well organized I I do need to make a few more little tags for the bags to say like okay this one has the play food in it this one has scarves and cowls this one has monsters so I can if somebody says oh man do you have another do you have another thing like this like okay let me let me pull that pouch out from under the table and I'll show you what else I have in dogs and cats rather than putting all of my happy huggy cats out I could just pull one out and say okay I've got I've got three more of those under the table do you want to see the other ones so we'll see how that goes um, one thing about having a show this Saturday I have a two-page list of stuff that I've finished that I need to put into Etsy listings like the coffee cups I need to pull the other coffee cups from the bag that's in that closet with play food items in it Get the other coffee cups get them into the light box get them all organized get a group shot get individual shots of the new coffee cups update the Etsy listing I got a show on Saturday why update it now let's wait till after the show if that coffee cup sells then I've wasted all my time taking the pictures and putting it on Etsy and all that stuff so having a show this weekend it's not good for my procrastination gene it's just it incurs
encourages me to put stuff up. But, yeah. So I'm going to work on Charlie Horse and the Artist Choice Bag Turtle that I have started. I have the body all made. I just need to make this teeny tiny little head and the teeny tiny little flippers. Flippers. Turtle flippers. I must be tired. I'm getting silly. And sew those on. And that will be done. And then I want to dive into some of my Timu yarn. So that I will be ready for Timu Tuesday. And I want to get some more um, videos linked to the April Craft Campaign to impress them so that they let me continue as an influencer because it was such fun getting a bag of free yarn and I'm thinking okay the next one the next one that I get I'm going to get like two of each yarn or two of each item and then I'm going to do a giveaway because if they're giving me free stuff I should share it with all my subscribers because it's because of my subscribers that they accepted me into the program. So, I don't know. I've just, it's been a good day. I got a good night's sleep for a change. And I feel like I've been accomplishing a lot today. Getting all those errands run just takes, takes a load off. Just, um, we, we recycle papers. We take them to the Christian school where all three of our girls went even though it's been years since they graduated, they have one of those paper collection bins in the back parking lot where they, the company comes and takes the paper away and they get paid by the pound for the paper that people have donated. Or, you know, I, I can't say the name. I can't remember the name. It starts with an A, at a BB or something like that. Um, but our paper bin here in the house was overflowing. We don't get newspapers. We, I guess it's, it's all the junk mail. And I do end up with scrap, like, I made myself a cheat sheet for this video. So that will go into recycling now. But it just seems like the recycling piles up so fast. And then I think, well, wait a minute. The last time I went to drop off recycling, I had to climb up onto a snow pile to put it to put the papers in. So it was probably several months ago, like January or February, that I went in to drop off papers. So it has been a couple months. They don't pile up as quickly as I think they do. But you know, getting the papers out of the house, going shopping, getting everything off my shopping list. Um, Picking up stamps and dropping off with Office Depot for work. Every month we drop off 10 cartridges to get credit towards other stuff. So crossing all those things off my list makes me feel like I am accomplished today. So I plan on getting a lot more done. I'm even going to take a few bags out to the car and start loading the car for Saturday. Just because I can. But I'm going to have so much time to play with yarn tonight. Yay! Okay, I need to go and check the timer. See how much time I have left with the fish. Set the table. I think I left stuff out on the table when I was unloading groceries. Get the table cleared and set for dinner. And once dinner is done and the dishes are cleaned up, I get to play with yarn. Bye-bye.